Beata York thanked her maid, and then regarded herself gravely in the glass. She saw a woman in her fifties who had been beautiful in her youth, and had grown more complex and full of character as time had dealt unkindly with her. She had had to search for and find an inner peace to combat the outer turmoil. Of course, no one else knew that of her, and it must always be so. They perceived her as serene, always in control of her emotions. Her porcelain fair skin was without blemish. The silver in her hair was invisible in its pale shining gold. The heavy waves swept up smoothly. She wore a somber shade of green, untrimmed by fur or ornament. She was making a visit that duty compelled, and she dreaded it. It was foolish of her. There had never been any possibility of avoiding it, and putting it off always made it worse. However, this time she had actually been sent for.